Welcome back. Taking a full look at weather now, Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. Some of the satellite images, looks like this is going to bring us a significant amount of rain tonight. Yeah, definitely the most rain we've seen from any system so far in 2022. But keep in mind, it's been very dry, so it's not saying too much. But with that said, there are some impacts um, that will be occurring out there tonight with the potential for some flooding in some areas and also for some very gusty winds. We're going to start off with a live look from Domenico's on the Wharf. Let's not get too crazy. Let's clear our minds, get peaceful to start things off as we look across the harbor today. Looking beautiful. It's been a nice day for most areas. The wind has been a little troublesome, I suppose. Um, and if you live in Santa Cruz, you've been cooler because the winds have been coming in off of the water. But on the south side of the bay, it's been fairly warm today. But there are plenty of alerts in place, and that does include a flash flood watch. Now, you see the colored in areas really all of the mountains of Monterey County, but it's specifically for the burn scars, the Dolan burn scar, the Colorado burn scar. That one's from just this year. So there's a potential for some brief heavy rain with this system, and that means the potential for some debris flows. I suspect that if you plan on driving late tonight on on Highway 1 is probably a bad idea down along the Big Sur Coast. I'd get down where you need to get to nowish and just uh, you know, hunker down for the rest of the night. And the reason is we'll probably see some rocks and debris. This is a fresh burn scar, burn right down to the road in many areas, right by Bixby Bridge. You'll probably see some rocks and debris on the road. The Dolan Fire has been putting rocks and debris on the road almost any time it rains. Nothing crazy this year so far, but uh, there will be some rocks and debris on the road down Highway 1 tonight. If you live in some of these areas near some of the lower areas, there may be some mudslides that come down through those canyons as well. So something to be aware of. Elsewhere, anywhere near a burn scar, when you have the potential for some moderate to heavy rainfall, there is that threat. And that does include other burn scars in Monterey and Santa Cruz counties as well. Wind advisories in effect until 5 a.m. for most of the higher terrain in the viewing area and also the Monterey coastline. And we're talking wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. We have gusted to 40 already in Salinas, which incidentally is not in the watch or uh, advisory area. With that said, there's potential for some power outages over the higher terrain, blocked roads, certainly some potential for uh, property damage with trees coming down as well. I don't expect widespread tree damage, but a few certainly will come down with these winds tonight. Not just that over the land, but also over the water. Gale warnings in place for all coastal waters, including the bay through 9 p.m. for the bay, through 3 a.m. for outer waters outside of the bay. So here is the storm. We'll take you through the timing of everything. You can see the cold front approaching the coast right now, but the cold front really will be the back end of the rain for the most part, or somewhere in the middle of the rain. We'll start to see the rain uh, advancing with the warm front, which will be coming through here within the next couple of hours. So let's get right to future cast and talk about that. We'll stop things off at 6 o'clock. Notice we're just seeing southerly winds out there. The leading edge of the rain still offshore, but as we head towards 7 or 8 o'clock, we'll start to see that rain arriving in around the Monterey Bay area. It will come uh, to very light to start off with, kind of misty, and then you'll start to see that light to moderate rain. And then as the cold front comes through, which incidentally is right here on the map at 8 p.m., still offshore, we'll see the strongest winds right along that cold front. And then as it comes through, things will kind of taper off behind it. But along that front, we'll see probably briefly heavy rainfall. So that's going to put some heavy rainfall rates in those coastal mountains, especially down along the Big Sur coast. As you have all this convergence going on, lots of heavy rain, we have the winds kind of pushing everything together right there, and that's where that strongest threat for the mudslides and debris flows will be. So probably around mid 10 o'clock to midnight tonight, I'm thinking will be that strongest threat. Now, eventually this is going to start to move farther inland. This is midnight. We're starting to see the heavier rain in the southern Santa Lucia's. And then things start to wind down, push farther inland as we head to 1, 2 a.m. The winds die down a little bit. It'll still be breezy but the strongest winds again along and ahead of that cold front, which is going to come through the Monterey Bay area roughly 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. So that's when I'm expecting the strongest. Now, the backside of the system will have that area of low pressure coming through to our south, and guess what's going to happen? It's probably going to generate some showers and thunderstorms across the region. This is 10 a.m. tomorrow, starting to see them develop mostly in the south, but can't rule out a few around the bay tomorrow as well. The model is showing a few up in the mountains. Any one of these little cells could have a brief downpour, even some small hail, maybe even a light lightning bolt with them tomorrow. We'll continue to be breezy tomorrow. When isolated showers and thunderstorms will slowly taper off tomorrow night once the sun goes down. But again, we're going to have kind of two rounds of precipitation with this system as it moves through. As far as total precipitation, we could see up to four inches, I think, in the Santa Lucia range. I mean, this model showing, you know, maybe one to two inches from most locations. I think that's kind of on the extreme. Most cities around the bay are going to pick up a quarter of an inch to about an inch. This isn't going to be super wet for cities around the bay, but the coastal mountains will take a uh, 
a kicking from this, I guess you could say, especially with some of this heavier rainfall coming through. I'm gonna go through your forecast high temperatures pretty quickly for you tomorrow. 61 in Santa Cruz, 61 in Capitola. We're gonna stay in the 50s in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Mostly upper 50s to low 60s across the board tomorrow. 62 in Salinas and over to Monterey. You're gonna see a high also right around the uh, 60 degree mark or so. Uh, farther south, mostly 50s as well. Again, you're gonna see mostly cloudy skies, so not a lot of sunshine tomorrow, and you'll be dodging showers and maybe even thunderstorms. So over the next seven days, temperatures staying somewhat cool along the coast. We're not going to be done with the wind just yet. Northwesterly onshore winds will continue most of the rest of the week, and that's going to keep things somewhat cool on the on the coast. Um, it'll be blustery, uh, certainly feeling like a cool shower, not showery, but cool, blustery spring weather. I'm watching Sunday of next week. Some indications in a, a weak weather system may approach. Inland areas will warm up a little bit by the end of the week, but we're going to see a couple of cool, blustery days before then. All right. Thanks, Dan.